Hi everyone, Lobster here. I'm using the Raspap 8.1 on Raspberry Pi 4. Um, it also works, the same micro SD card also works on the 3, the 2 and the 1 version. Or well, we've tested it on, on those very briefly on those different Raspberry Pis and it works okay. Okay, what have we got? Well, we've got a, a, a standard uh, puppy here. I've changed the icons, which you can do when you set up. Um, you'll see here we've got the desktop, and you can change the icons, which I've changed to my preference. The sound, I had a bit of a problem. I was trying to, if we just, there, yep, that should, you might hear that, you might not. Let's hope you do. But I had to change the the sound, the sound card using this option. Um, you can see I've got the standard device here, which I can't remember even what that is. I think, oh yes, I think that goes into the uh, HDMI. Um, so there's that, and there's uh, but that all those three are more or less different, but there you can see it, the HDMI. So that was outputting from the monitor, and I was also using a USB Planetronics audio, and I tried to use the audio output to some micro um, speakers, but that didn't work, uh, and we had the same the same problem with that outputting to to a headphone or micro micro speakers doesn't work. So it's best to use a, a USB or directly HDMI to the built-in speakers in the monitor if they're available. So that was that was one of the uh, pro problems I had. But again, it's just a question of. Uh, going through the the steps with this and all the others you know setting up your your language and what have you pretty standard this is something that um, we do all the time with with puppy the internet as well there's a there's like a, a setup program which you'll be used to when you first run the puppy raspap 8.1 when you first do that it'll go through a whole procedure One Uh, and you'll see I've been working with the uh, Growl 2.5, so I've got this running, well, provisionally running on the the Raspberry Pi. It's a it's a very simple pr program, um, and we can we can if I if I do edit, it should load Genie. Here it is. All right, so I started uh, updating this very simple. Uh, uh, bash script it uses I think GT what's it using GTK yeah GTK dialog 4 which has been superseded by YAD and some other uh, system but you can still get GTK dialog 4 and you can uh, create your own little uh, programs very easy very easy to use and if you look at the the code for this when it's uh, released hopefully um, soon uh, you'll be able to see how e easy that is to use. Or you can look at an earlier version of a uh, Growl. I think we're up to about uh, 2.1 or 2.2. Okay, so that's that's uh, one of the, the, the things I, I've been using. I have set up the the DVX, so this is the an SFS. There's only, I think, two SFS. Uh, available. So, for example, under utilities here, you'll see there's some um, uh, that there's a J Java control panel, which you won't have if you just use a, a standard um, setup and don't use our programming uh, facility, which is the DVX. So, for example, if you were doing programming, um, you would want that uh, DVX. All right, and I'm, uh, personally, I want the the three, the version three of, uh, or is it 
3.6 we're up to I don't know but there's a later version of uh, Python available so it's it's worth um, finding that and you can find that in the install if you go into a usual thing go into install install applications and uh, the plus the puppy package management system and I used so it's loading the, the puppy management there I use the buster main here and if we look at there these these are all the the programs some of which worked and I set up um, one which was the simple uh, recorder what's it called it's called uh, I can't remember but it's a, a simple uh, desktop uh, recorder so that's how I'm I'm doing this this recording yeah very good it's all there if you can try these other ones as well um, and hopefully there'll there'll be more stuff available specifically uh, compiled within here for which are written specifically for puppy so that should speed some of the things up um, we'll we'll see how that works out in the future this is the beta 1 that I'm using beta 1 it's the first beta it went straight into beta 1 created by Mick from um, the Wolf CE, the community edition of Wolf, which is constantly being updated, very standard, uh, and and lots of facilities. Now, one of the things I did download when you first come into here was I changed from the Midori. This is the um, the Midori browser. Yes, that that loads very fast, um, but you want something a bit more modern, and so there is an installation that appears on the. I think it's under Internet. There's a uh, an installer so you click on that when you're connected to the internet and you can then d download Vivaldi which is based on Opera it's a very uh, powerful and comprehensive uh, browser it's taking at the moment about six seconds or so to load so it, there, there it comes here it comes very uh, complex let's see what we've got on here it's still loading you see uh, it tends to load the the, the last um, settings, but my gosh, it's what's this? Android authority. What is the kick? Oh yes, I'm looking at uh, um, neural net uh, processors for Android. Yeah. Uh, confirm window close. Yes. So even though this is a uh, oh look at this Scratch Raspberry Pi. So there's other there's other windows there. Uh, do you really want to exit? Yes. So even though the uh, Vivaldi is there and available, it's taking quite a while to to load, and that may be the the preferences can can be uh, changed and altered and improved. The right click works okay. So if we look at uh, multimedia, ah, there's the simple simple screen recorder which I downloaded from the from the the puppy installer so that's 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 available um, if we look at some of the other things pretty standard um, uh, well we I tend to do everything from here so if we look at the um, you know the calculator one two three it's taking about three seconds to download that and that doesn't speed up so this is on the the Raspberry Pi 4 you can see all the the pr processes running here um, and if we use HTOP which should be available we can see some of the pr anyway that's a, a quick look at the the um, Raspberry Pi in beta now on the Raspberry Pi so um, you know only one only one fun game but you can probably load others if you really want to um, the I'll tell you what was rather good was the radio streamer this is it the yeah pup music this um, downloads is a whole series of um, stations and this this is how I ended up going to I don't know why why, why did I go to well, I went to Mongolia and they only had one radio station there but it was working okay so that's a, a again is a standard uh, program for puppy it's a uh, uh, written specifically if it's got p in front of it it's quite often a, a puppy specific uh, program uh, designed 
Usually, usually created as a shell, but some not not always uh, as a, a shell program. Uh, excellent, excellent stuff. Um, now the firewall is is standard, uh, and that you you can set that up when you when you do the initial uh, setup. Um, there we go. You know, did it? Oh, that's one thing. The clock here. Um, when you Let's let's just right click on that. What you want to do is you want to yeah. If you set the time zone, basically if you're connected all the time, you can use the you can use your your location. I'm in London, and you can use the um, you can use the internet on the initial thing to set up the the time automatically every time you load in because the Raspberry Pi does not have an inbuilt clock all right so that that's quite u a useful tip um, you can save before you you leave the um, uh, before you leave the operating system um, here we've got the the two directories um, I mean if we look at the you know rocks here what have we got test oh I'm doing some tests oh, I'll test the saving in MK I had various um, attempts at saving the the um, screen recording that I was doing um, and I, this I created uh, very easily in uh, paint um, that was very very easy to do um, so those of you who are familiar with MT Paint, um, you know that's zooming in and out. Um, and if we go File and bum to yeah, that's that's the PNG that I I based on the SVG file. I just loaded this into um, Puppy and um, to, you know let's just do it. Let's just do it. That's the easiest way. Text. There's the type puppy Raspberry Pi here. Change the the size here, bold italic, and paste text. And then if you you can change the color there, right click, and it's there. Change the color to white, and then move it here. There we are. Right click again, and we've got a, a you know Raspberry Pi or whatever you want, want to say beta or whatever. Okay, let's close that. Oh, and to get this this um, this zooming uh, effect, you do that in again quite straightforward. If you go into preferences and uh, general, uh, what have we got? Interface. Yeah, here we go. Uh, mouse scroll wheel equals zoom. Mouse. I found this this so useful. So and then okay, I've got I turned it on so that allows you to zoom in and out. Okay, uh, we'll close that. Cancel operation. Lose changes. We'll close that. Rocks. You know. Um, oh my gosh. I. Rocks is probably. I mean, this is a standard program, in. Um, in Puppy. This is where the our backgrounds are kept and if I right click on the icon here and plus here you can see and if I, you can see all the various built-in um, backgrounds available here and the, the one I changed was the Buntu one and I then saved it as a, as a PNG all right um, so you can do that and you can even set up a, a slideshow from within here if we look at Nathan's if we go into uh, setup uh, this is it set up or no sorry desktop and go into uh, where's Nathan's there oh I'm on it gosh I can't see it in the on it Nathan's um, there if we go file and start slideshow you will see that um, you can you can you can change this um, every few seconds anyway that's all from me for now bye now